Now we're live. We are. Hello, world. It is another episode of Heatism. And tonight, I want to remind everybody that we are TVMADLSV. Because it's going to be that kind of night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hit the intro and then we'll do our introductions and get on to it. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Right away. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome back, everybody. I am Lola, your indie princess, and I am the EIC over at IndieVault.com. I am the co-owner of Lost Call Comics, and I am the owner of Shocker Comics, and I am the writer and creator of Lore, which is now funding on Indiegogo. And I am joined by, as always, the lovely Daphne Lays. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Daphne Lage, and I am a cartoonist, illustrator, and comic book artist from New York. And I have been self-publishing comics since 1992. And I am known for the funny animal fantasy comic Tall Tales, uh, which is in its last six days on Kickstarter. And uh, my medieval uh, fantasy drama soap opera eagle raven air of the first unicorn that is premiering the second issue on monday uh on at kickstarter as well so it's just campaigns on campaigns and uh, you can read both my comics at talltalesonline.com t-i-i-l-s online and egoworks.com e-g-o-w-o-r-k-s and you can also watch my videos on how i make these comics on youtube at daphne lage l-a-g-e art Awesome. And Nita, how are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? Hello, Indie Vault. I am Nita Lanning. I am partner and CCO of Continuum Comics. I am the Cajun half of <laughs> Ragin' with the Asian and the Cajun. And that can be found on YouTube. And let's see, what else? I'm a writer, vlogger, blogger, and the mouth of the South. What up? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a title. <laughs> And my other half, Varian Grant. Why are you grumpy? I demand satisfaction. <laughs> no, my Later. God. <laughs> yeah. Not on oh, the show, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, I I founded Indie Volt Media LLC, and if someone had made the time machine, go back and stop me, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> please, please. Um, yeah, uh, I've been making comic books since 2008. Uh, I've been, um, what does Russ say? I've been drawing comics in anger. Yeah, and drawing then, comics in anger. Yeah, I yes. won't steal it. I won't steal it. But uh, yeah, I've been, I'm an artist, a publisher, we're, a we're comic a bit cranky writer. about it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm just cranky. I'm yeah. mildly cranky. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was almost the tallest person on the show. Almost. 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 But Lola beat me by an inch. So. Oh, yeah. Two inches, maybe three. So in height, in height, not anywhere else. Like she doesn't have one of those. I have one that's huge. Never mind. We'll talk about that later. Um, the, Am I the, the tallest in my room? Hmm? Am I the tallest in the room? Well, I don't know. Uh, the, I'm five two, and um, Daphne. I'm five one. Nita, four ten. I'm the tallest in the room. Yeah. Yes, you are. But without, without the, the shoes. shoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is whack. Anyway, start the jam show. Oh, so, so by the way, so speaking <laughs> of shoes, let, let's let's just give uh, a little shout out to today's shoe on the Taste shoe can. Rainbow, yeah, rainbow. really. Look at that. Sponsored by Indicron. Indy yes. Cron, 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 cron. So which, I got Which we appreciate very much. <laughs> I'm, contract, I'm contractually uh, uh, obliged to put an echo behind Cron. Cron. Oh, cron, okay. cron. Cron. Oh. <laughs> And Hunter Entertainment says, I need to catch the replay. Have a great stream. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, wait, how tall is that? Well, you heard that. Yep. yep. I am 5'5". Five, five yeah. Without the heels. Wow. With tall. the heels? She could be anything. It depends, <laughs> it depends on what I'm wearing. With two ones, I'm probably about... Well, they're 10 inches, so at wow. 10 inches. Oh, my, my ankles hurt. <laughs> I'm in so much pain. Look, y'all, I practiced because I was so, the one day in my life I was going to 
be girly was going to be when I walked down the aisle to get married. And we practiced and practiced and practiced. And I'm like, I am not busting my ass on my wedding in front of everyone. So we went last minute, had my dress altered. And I wore Converse tennis shoes with Damn a Damn straight. Down. Damn straight. <laughs> How tall were your heels? Uh, they were only like two inches, but I kept twisting my ankle, dude. Oh, my yeah. God. Those you're are not, big heels. Yeah, if, yeah oh, but if, you're, not, if you're not used to it. Hello. Oh, the gang's <laughs> all here. Yeah, oh, but if you're not, if you're not used to walking in those things, you know. No, never. Yeah. I, I'm I, barefoot or flip-flops. <laughs> I love flip-flops. I don't know. But my flip flops have a heel on them. She doesn't want a pair of flat shoes, except for one pair of gym shoes. And no, one of my pairs of flip flops are flat. Oh, so you don't wear them often. So, yeah. I do um, wear them because they got the memory foam in them. I don't know. Who but pays it? Anyways, we are joined by <laughs> Meredith. How are you tonight? Hello, everybody. From the new house. From the new house. <laughs> um, Antiques Roadshow. Yeah, yeah. They're teasing me about my background because I haven't had a chance to set it up yet, you guys. <laughs> you screw place? you. You're not pimping. You. No, it's a freaking China cabinet. Is it? Okay. <laughs> it's the top half of my China cabinet because the bottom half is being used as my entertainment center right now. Uh -huh. I've got more stuff than house right now, so everything's in a freaking box. It's a mess. Yeah. Ah, I was like, that's the China cabinet. How tall is that chair? Ah, uh, yeah, for split second, I caught that too. And it's like, <laughs> I am Gigantor. I am yeah, the Gigantess. Meredith, <laughs> we were just talking about height. How tall are you? I am 5'2. There you go. On a good day. So I'm still taller than everybody. Yes. Okay. Yes, you are. Yes. And Why don't you introduce is. yourself, Meredith? I am Meredith Locker, and I am the associate editor over at Geek Insider, as well as the executive producer of the Geek Insider podcast. I am the Asian half of Ragin, one of the uh, partners in Continuum Comics. And I am a writer, a storyteller, an editor, a web designer. I, I do all and have time for none of it. Sounds legit. <laughs> <laughs> what does your shirt say? D-Tube. Sounds like porn. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Nailed it. You know, uh, so it is a, uh, it, it's a blockchain-based uh, website where it is competing with YouTube. And they've been around for a few years. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. They, do, do they have porn? I'm sure they do. There's porn everywhere, Vera. There's porn everywhere if you like yeah, watch. Yeah. You, gotta do you don't even have to look very hard. Yeah, because... I'm about to start. I'm about to start indie tube. <laughs> All these is upload your shit, folks. We'll get in the tube. Them. Yeah, right. yeah. I want it on the bottom floor. Yeah. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need some monies. <laughs> yeah. That's horrible. Um, Tonight is about how fucked up the industry is. Well, Completely. Uh, I did want to say something before you start about that. Uh, wait, wait, gentleman, what? I, I have to I have to put on my rose glasses. Hold on a second. Or do I have to take them off? Come on. <laughs> will, there is a uh, gentleman that wrote in about a, a couple of months ago about his um about his uh, medical uh insurance he was gonna do for oh. us. He has got back to me with a, a bit of a report. Um it looks like he's gonna be able to offer artists, uh art, or creators in comics. Uh a plan for health, eye, vision, dental. Oh, for, right. uh, for Jesus, and right now it's looking about fifty-five dollars a month. Oh, wow. Shit. Okay, you yeah. need to have him on the show. Well, to explain yeah, yeah. This. yeah, yeah. So he's gonna, yeah, he's 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 fig, he's finalizing my base. But once he does that, we're gonna get him on here to talk about it. Right. Yeah. And, uh, that's that's important. Yeah. Yeah. So I just thought um, I mention that. I I promised that I would yesterday, and I did not. So huh? time yeah. to get writing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's a great idea. I just a all of a sudden of, found my motivation. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are a lot of insurance companies now who are who are offering that um, if you have a, a big enough group of people who can get their shit together and organize and say, oh, we are a group and then you can get a group rate. Mm -hmm. Who made that shit? What shot did you take? The 99 black. Oh, it was 99 percent proof. No wonder. Yeah. I got 99 watermelons. That tastes like gasoline. <laughs> we had 99 that. espresso. Oh my God. And that shit, y'all. Let me tell you. 
one shot. It's like two tablespoons of alcohol. We put it in our morning coffee, right? I'm thinking in oh, yeah. a little bit, I'm going to go hit the stores, get some grocery shopping done. We drank that on the show. I You're swear like, to God. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know if it was because it was on an empty stomach or what. Oh, no, I, I made that mistake once. There was no driving. I, was like, I, I told C, I was like, I'm going to go lay down for like 30 minutes and see if this passes. And it's like four hours later, I woke up. <laughs> um, Hello, Jim. So, Hello. Uh, hey. Ladies, tonight is a conversation we started on Tuesday. I know that it spilled over to other shows. It spilled over yeah, to that. Yeah, show. yeah, I, yeah. I was, I was talking about that, too. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of drama like these last two weeks, especially. And, you know, it makes you wonder, okay, is there a problem with the industry? And one of the problems is that uh, a lot of people have been bringing to my attention lately is that they said, we, 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 we have this culture of whispering and not being, um, not being open with ourselves, not, not going to the person that we have a problem with and talking it out and saying, Hey, you know, I feel when you did this, it was wrong. I, I've had my moments. Um, and, you know, I don't think any of us is really innocent of it, but there is this, there, there is this, um, yeah, you start to wonder if it happens in the mainstream, and I'm pretty sure it does. I don't think it's just the indies. I don't think it's just the, I, I don't. It's but, human nature, yeah. period. Yeah. But I, it's I was, really yeah. getting ugly right now within the industry. <laughs> right. Hey. hey. I was like, Brandon's awesome. I got to go to work. Here I am trying to get the whole topic in like three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Grandma, the, grandma, topic grandma, grandma. Is, the topic is how fucked up the industry is right now and what we need to do to stop it. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebel Comics says, you mean people gossip? Oh, ladies have been doing that since the start of time. You mean we have DN groups where rumors happen? Well, we do. We we have that. We have we have that and we have... Um, people I, trying to put labels on us whether because we go to Kickstarter or Indiegogo. Right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you heard that. Uh, yesterday, I, I kind of had a moment because I seen someone call a person a Indiegogo creator, and I snapped. Dumb as yeah. what, what, What's an Indiegogo creator? They haven't signed you to a right, yeah. right? crowdfund on their platform. You know it's no Indiegogo creators. There's no, cre there's no Kickstarter creators. Right. I don't I've never that. heard I don't of that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you guys have it. Well, it, it's like, you know, it's like, I, I understand if people have a preference, um, but I mean, like my, most of my audience is on Kickstarter. So that's why I uh, sure. prioritize Kickstarter, even though I am playing around with the idea of doing an Indiegogo, but it, it just me, but it's just, that's just me considering this is another platform I can use. You know, it's like, okay, here's my hammer. Here's a wrench. They're both tools. That That's right. all it is. Um, <laughs> but it's like, you know, so, but yeah, I prioritize Kickstarter, but that, that doesn't make me a Kickstarter creator. It's just, you know, it, it's not like YouTube where, you know, people, you know, the word YouTuber kind of, you know, has a whole thing around it. There is no Kickstarter -er. <laughs> yeah. or, or an Indiegogo -er. Indiegogo -er. Well, apparently there are now. They're just self self proclaimed. Right. No, it's basically just what it is, is what's happening. You you know, the SJWs and Comicsgate. Yeah. And that's where I the mean, it's where. Are. If Where we're kind of going to point at the elephant in the room, you know. <laughs> That's <laughs> what's happening. If you're on Indiegogo, you're so you're a so-called comics creator. If you're on Kickstarter, you're with the SJWs. Yep. <sighs> oh, I just want to oh. go where I just want to go where I feel that it's best for mm -hmm. my my comic to make the best money. Right. Right. Listen, exactly. Exactly. I, and I'm okay going both ways. Mm. <laughs> No, I, no personally, here. Here. <laughs> Pers personally, I think the best thing to do for, for me is Kickstarter first mm -hmm. because that's where I have familiarity. Mm -hmm. And and then later I GG on demand. Why leave right. money on the table? Why not take advantage? Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh Larry says they don't mean IGG creator. Um, oh, and uh, Jim O'Reilly says he's got sunshine and rainbows emulating from his running from his uh, nose hole. Oh wow. Well. I don't know why I read <laughs> this shit kicked in quick. Woo. Yeah, I'll leave that alone. Oh, what's that? Oh, what do I mean? Oh, no, it's uh, Rainbow Bright. Uh, Rainbow Bright. Yeah. With. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Rebel Comics says uh, they mean uh, Comics Great Curator. Comics Gate runs almost solely on IGG. <laughs> right. So when people hear and people hear and see IGG campaign, they will auto assume it's CG. And that's not the case. 
where CG I will not you. run on kickstart for the most part. But Larry, let me ask you this. Do you think that, um, because remember, there were people who were flying the CG flag. That's the best terminology for it. And they were saying they weren't allowed to be on Kickstarter. Their their um, campaigns couldn't be approved. Now that can, that, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but that can knock you off of like your business plan getting rejected from a, a, a campaign site. <laughs> well, now the thing is though, I do know that it was because of a particular woman that was working at Kickstarter who is no longer there. So I don't know if this mm -hmm. is still an issue. It still um, is. There's other people that are running. Right. And, yeah. and and the thing is, though, and especially now that Kickstarter is running a new banner underneath their uh, underneath everyone's campaign, saying that pretty much that they are not responsible for the campaign. They're just they're just a platform and that they don't vet anybody, you know, you know, in terms <laughs> of being able to uh, fulfill their campaigns. So for them to still treat it like they have like editorial con some kind of editorial control is is ridiculous you know because it's like look you're either a platform or you're a publisher yes and if you're not a publisher shut up and just be a platform oh, I love you, you know because it's like <laughs> you, you it's like you can't say you have no control over the campaign and then simultaneously try to have control over the content of that campaign or yeah. who's creating so, it yeah it, it's like that you know it's like that that's that's you know th that's a conversation to have of course but um you know, the, the thing is, though, is like in the end, though, people who are so willing, it, it's like, it's like, I, I mean, to, for me, like the long and the short of it is, is that if you don't want to buy my book, don't buy my book. If you don't want to support me, don't support me. You have every right to not support me on any level whatsoever. But don't try to make it sound like it's some kind of moral crusade that it's related to, okay? I mean, it's not. It's like I didn't, you know, I, I didn't consent to be part of anybody's morality Thank you. Play whatever whatever nonsense they're doing, um, because I don't know they're bugging out on Twitter or something. Because Stop in the end, being martyrs and get yeah, off your crosses. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like people are bugging out on Twitter, and they're trying to make it my problem. And no, uh, it's yours actually. And if this is actually a problem for you, have you tried therapy? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of taking it out on people online, you know. Oh, you say that so much nicer than I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that. Uh, yeah, she's gonna say it very nicely at first, but uh, mm. I've been surprised. Um, <laughs> well, I'm in a good mood today. I got I got some proofs today, so I'm in a good mood. Nice. And they are <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, let's, let's have some Meredith because she's been quiet, Meredith. <sighs> <laughs> Let it go, Meredith. Let it go. Platforms. Let it go. All right. Platforms are available so that we can make money. Thank you. We have websites that we want to direct people to because we have content there. We want mm -hmm. people to be interested in it. We want people to buy our shit. Okay. Right. Some people don't have the savvy to build up a website and get the traffic over there. So what they need places like indiegogo and kickstarter it is a tool in the toolbox do not leave money on the table it Amen. is just like you would include that with your cons <laughs> that you hope to go there you hope you budget for that stuff it is part of your business plan for you right. to try and politicize or take your corners and this and that is ridiculous. It is yes. a tool for the toolbox. Use all the tools you can, unless you have money flying out of your ass and you don't need to, in which case, stay off there and, and leave it for the indie creators who need it, all right? Or drive traffic to them. But uh, I mean, I don't understand this. It's like, no, you, well, because I'm flying this flag, I'm only going here. Why not just chop off your leg? You know, when you're not, when you're not using it. I mean, um, he's, you uh, don't, 
you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. Larry says, uh, you can say IGG is its own thing. <laughs> Technically, that's true. But CG is taking it over. And I am not, uh, I think you didn't see CG. I wrote on Indiegogo and made $3,000. I wrote on Kickstarter and made $16,000. That right. just I mean, means that yeah, your well, audience is there. Right, exactly. That Because that's too big <laughs> of, of a gap. Right. You know, it's like well, your audience is on Kickstarter. Well, l yes. let me ask this too, because like mm -hmm. now for me, running a business. I'm sorry, go ahead, Nina, go ahead. No, no, well, that's another thing I don't get. Everybody's talking about these selected audiences uh, as an audience, too. I'm on both platforms. Like, somehow, one of JD's uh, freaking Kickstarters recently slipped by me because C and I depend on each other, and we're forever double back in these two on accident. And both of us were just like, oh, well, the other one got it. <laughs> and then it was on IGG and there was like 24 hours left. And I was like, Hey, did you ever get the confirmation on? Did you, do, or I asked him, did he do the, uh, Oh my survey? God, the survey. Thank you. I hate those motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and he was like, no, you didn't do it. And I was like, no. And it was like, did we get the book? And then it was like, Oh shit, let's go through our email. His no. And it, so we jump on Indiegogo and grab it. I mean, it's not a fucking big deal. It's like right. Walmart and Target, man. Yeah. Right, yeah. Fuck oh, and by the way, and, and that's the thing, too. It's the Target like for is people, more expensive. For, for people <laughs> who, who, are, who are trying to make platforms a morality play, I mean, it's like, yeah, how many times do you shop on Amazon? How right? many times do you run to Walmart? You know, it's like how many times, you know, it's like you, you buy, you know, Coke out of machine, knowing that uh, that we, knowing that Coca-Cola has literally sponsored death squads in South America to to, to suppress union, you know, protests. I, I mean, it's like, really? <laughs> you just ruined my drink, and, Daphne. And, and the thing is, I, I don't understand people who are going to say I'm a. Uh, I'm a Kickstarter creator. I'm an Indiegogo creator. You are an independent creator. Right, you yeah, yeah. stuff. You know, yeah. it would be like, oh, I'm a Patreon creator. No, you are an independent creator who is putting your shit on these platforms. Why? Because you want to make money. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. There are some people who, you know, they don't want to be considered indie anymore because they, to them, that's a bad word. And they can seem like they're above it. You know, so they'll take any other term they can rather than indie. Uh, Rebel Larry <laughs> says, um, I'm willing to bet if I pull the CG flag that uh, Indiegogo would have made a lot more money. How is that for the elephant? It, I mean, maybe, possible. maybe not. Maybe not, because I, I personally know somebody who recently did that. I'm not naming names or or products or anything like that. And they did piss poor. Mm. Right. Yeah. I mean, because it's like none of that is a, is a guarantee either. Mm -mm. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like you want to cater to certain people. I mean, that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, it's like, did certain people find success on the platform because of taking a certain angle to it and catering to a certain market? Yeah, they did. But they're like three people, you know, so it's like everybody else. We have to hustle harder. You know, and it's like, and and it, nothing is an easy switch. You know, nothing is just like, oh, if I do this, I'll be successful. Or if I just do this one thing, I'll be successful. It's a constant grind, you know. And I think that that part of this is people thinking that this is easy somehow. They're just missing. They're just missing the magic button, and there is no magic button. And they do butt <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Varian, can you put up uh, Larry's last comment there? Because I did want to kind of address that. This one or the one before it? I'm, the, I'm this, this one. one. Okay. That that people are more interested in the personalities and ideology of creator than yeah. the actual work. Yeah. Mm, maybe. Maybe. And yeah. maybe it's because that creator is putting themselves out there and they've drawn the line, line in the sand or they've taken a corner or whatever. Right. I mean, I think honestly, as a as a creator, and I don't think that an independent creator is a bad word because that is true. Really of course not. I've never hard. heard of that. Right. I have not heard of so, that. So, so um, if, if you're doing your job right and your motivation is to create work, just do the work. Yeah. Don't be an asshole. If you want to be opinionated, maybe create a personal account and keep your professional shit professional. Separate. Right. Yeah. Separate. 
Yes. You know, church and state. Well, go wild and crazy on one. Block the people who you think are going yeah. to be um, yeah. upset or uh, offended by. Block those people. Yeah, have no, fun. Really. And you know. then just but keep it professional because at the end of the day, when when you're taking sides like that, quite honestly, I think you're really hurting yourself. And, you know, and I, I was gonna say that I. I uh, like some of the personalities, like there are shows I watch just because the personalities are, you know, I, I like listening to these people. Um, I honestly, I, I think that um, like Larry sounds like a radio DJ when he's talking. Like I, I, I yeah, uh, there was another person, I'm not gonna say their name. They had a really common voice. I'm not saying their name because that would open a whole nother can of worms, but they had a very common no, voice. do it. Yeah, well, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. But they had a very, so I like listening to those people talk because they, like they, some of them had their NPR voices on like this and it was very calming and they didn't say uh, stutter. So it it was, it was calming to me. I like that. Larry has a radio voice. Like when he's talking, he's doing his shows. Um, I've actually picked up on some of it and tried to incorporate it into, you know, when I speak to people. So some of the personality thing is there. If I like you, I'm probably going to check your product out. Right. But there are people who I do not know. And I'm buying their projects from Kickstarter, from Indiegogo. I'm wondering, guys, if it's more of a and problem on our side than the fans who aren't, you know, in the kitchen. Oh, no, it's definitely on our side in here. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you exactly why. Because it goes deeper than just the Indiegogo Kickstarter divide. It goes deeper than just Comicsgate and SJW. I now have people coming into my fucking inbox and telling me, hey, you promoted a uh, blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, blah did this to me. And blah, blah, blah did this. And I did this and blah. And it goes back and forth. Some childhood playground shit. And essentially telling me, if you play with them, I'm not going to play with you. Fuck you. I'm a grown ass woman. I'm going to play with whoever the fuck I want to play with. You can play with and, me. And and if, <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. I got it. <laughs> now exclusive to OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> I've already given an Indie Vault exclusive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which, which, by the way, I got an email about. It. Did they about that? Oh, uh, no. About OnlyFans? Yeah. Are about you opening backers, up an OnlyFans, Marion? No, no, I could have. About my it? Indie Vault exclusive? Your backer shop. Oh, uh, backer oh shop. thank yeah, God. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got an email about that. It was from a guy. <sighs> and he was upset because he said that uh, you have women flashing on your show. That wasn't that night. Get, get that, 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 that was it. that was a geekasm, and all I did was this. That's <laughs> it. Oh, that was on back of shots. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. I thought that was black. Oh, okay. No, it was on back of shots. No, you that didn't. A, you didn't see, bra. You didn't see nothing. You saw some <laughs> cleavage. I got cotton um, comfies. Nobody sees that. <laughs> it is pretty though. It's soft, dude. But, but, <laughs> but my thing was like, have you seen Lola? Like. No, it's the same thing almost. It's identical. It, They're smaller. I, <laughs> it's just like, it's the same but thing. But I'm shorter. Right? Fuck, we've established that. I'm proportionate, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. man. See, back to the shots. Yeah, it, it was, was. back or shots. Oh, okay. Larry <laughs> says, Larry says, there's no such thing as church of state anymore. Twitter saw to it. No people saw to <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, well, Twitter is. <laughs> I love so Twitter. I love Twitter, too. <laughs> I know people hate on Twitter, but it is so fast-paced, and you can Ooh, get messages out there. Fire Let me Twitter. tell you something. Let me tell you something. I have made some amazing connections and interviews that I have locked down because of Twitter. Um, yeah. If you have a certain, let's just say you have 5,000 followers, and 1% of those go and buy your book. Exactly. That's my thing. Well. You want 1%. That's one Think thing I that. noticed during the Kickstarter. The people that came through my link, guess where they were coming from? Twitter. Twitter's good for marketing and shit talking. Mm -hmm. And I <laughs> like to do both. So it's like where I belong. Now, yeah, Facebook, but you get Facebook, in Twitter Facebook's jail all the time, though. Yeah. Mind your business, Meredith. <laughs> Facebook Facebook works seems to be working better for me. It's yeah. like Twitter seems to be a bigger struggle for me. Like I use Twitter more to follow people. The, um than than to actually like because i yeah it's like facebook i i just get a lot more engagement on it so that's where i focus a lot of my energy on i've been blocked I, by oj simpson and chuck e cheese i've <laughs> i've been blocked by roseanne Barr. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think that but that's really important daphne to what you were saying is that 
we also need to, because most of us as creators are shit marketers. Okay. And so we need all the help that we can get. It yeah, also yeah. helps to know where your audience is. That yeah, exactly. if your audience is on Facebook, you want to engage with them. Yeah. And then if you have time, you try and develop the other social media. Exactly. I mean, I have a presence yeah. everywhere. I sign up for everything because we I know. want to lock down my username, right? <laughs> But that doesn't mean that's I'm why that's why your link tree is more like a link orchard. It is. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like and I will, will be adding long. more. <laughs> Mine's getting like that too. Yeah, I um, have a problem. Just, I need an app intervention. Just you taking my toys out your sandbox and going home very meaty patini. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the That's problem exactly is what it's like. It's yeah. like grade school. It's like this is the door, a door that leads into my home. It's not a fucking yeah. locker in the high right, school. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think it well, because like I mentioned this on on my live stream, you know, talking about like the weirdness that that is Twitter. And and it's like it's really even if you are using Twitter as marketing. It is still extremely important for you to curate your experience because the thing is though, having troublemakers constantly harassing you and making right. trouble for you is not conducive to marketing. So, you know, it's like, you know, cause it's like the, I, I had mentioned this whole thing about it. It's like, oh yeah, people go, oh, you should block people and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you fuck you my block list is four pages uh, long. You can't, you can't uh, handle discourse. And it's like one, I'm not on Twitter for discourse. OK, I'm, I'm on Twitter to sell my comic, to show off my artwork and do the occasional shit post. But I'm not there to debate people. OK, right. so if you're coming at me, I didn't invite you. OK, I didn't call your name, so I don't know why you're coming at me. So which means that you get a block if you know if you piss me off enough and i'm not going to feel bad about it you want to go bragging to whoever going oh she blocked me she blocked me it's like what you want a fucking trophy congratulations i blocked you and i'll do it again too <laughs> um you know you really do have to curate your experience because it's like it's not conducive to you to be surrounded by people who have who do not have your best interests at heart it's you know me they're not they're not there to support you. They're not there to promote your work. They're not there to enjoy your artwork. They're just there to cause trouble. So you're no, you're no good to me. <laughs> you know, I, I can understand that. I, I think that, you know, you have to, like, when you, when I first started doing comics, there were people that, you know, came to me and they were like, hey, let's, I'll help you with your company. It's not a problem. And those are some of the very people who, Stabbed me in my back really hard. I had a guy start. You have to be your friend to get close enough. He took. <laughs> they started. They they took. I, imagine going to the comic book store, picking up an issue off the stand, flipping to the back of the book, a book that you, by the way, didn't even know was out yet. That's how. That's how the company ran. And I opened my back page of this book, and Lolo tell you, they ran an ad for the new company that they had started secretly, in the back of the book. And this is how I found out they were quitting, by the way. And spelt it wrong. They couldn't yeah. even spell their own damn company right. Yeah, nice. it was only one of them. It was a graphic designer. And, and the thing is, they never produced anything. And that company, that <laughs> I company bet you that produced. looks great. It, it was, and it was like, why did you do that? Like, you could have, like, if you were unhappy about anything, you could have, but they figured they had bled me dry. And um, people kind of figured out who was. I don't want to make it sound like I'm better than I say I am, but they figured out who the brains of the operation was. And like, oh, we can't do this without him. This is awfully fucking hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it, it's... Yeah. And then, then they started talk, shit talking. You know, oh, well, Varian did this, and Varian did that. And it's like, okay, fuck you guys. But I think that as long as there are people in this industry who get jealous, there's somebody who's going to be jealous of Meredith. Oh, she's I, got... She's yeah. got She's got a uh, prose novel on the way out. Y'all have no idea what yeah, she has a, coming, and that's all I'm saying on yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. She has prose novel. She has, I mean, she has a bunch of stuff. There are people who are going to say that, oh, well, where did she come from and try to blackball and black? The same with Daphne. I know you dealt with it. Y'all better be licking her balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and you know what? And it's, and it's all the same thing. It's like these are a bunch <laughs> of nobodies who've accomplished nothing and they and the only thing that they have going for them is trying to tear down the people who are doing the work and i have news for you guys 
that that does not it doesn't make you taller. Standing on my back doesn't make you taller. You know, so maybe if you wear my heels. Yes, yes, maybe, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, and, and you know what? And it's like, and while I'm busy doing the work and getting these Kickstarters done and producing comics that I've been doing since probably since a lot of, since before a lot of you were even born, um, I'm, I'm still way ahead of you guys. So, you know, in, in, enjoy, you know, it's like, you know, in, enjoy your life. Uh, this was from yesterday, but I figured we'd run it on this show. But so I, get I it just want to say really mm -hmm. quickly, you know, mm -hmm. again, it, it to to what Daphne was saying. Do good work. You work hard. Make your creations, and don't be a jerk. Right. It's really not that hard. It really isn't. And you know what? And the people who are doing the work are too busy to be running around being assholes on the internet. If you have the time to do that, it's because you're not working. Right. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Uh, this is from Greg. Uh, he wants to know: Could you, in good conscience, recommend young creators get into this business with all the perceived toxicity? What advice mm. would you give them? Mm. Mm. Well, you see, well, the, the, you're the teenager here, Daphne. So. Right. Yeah, I know. Right. I'm, I'm <laughs> the, the world's <laughs> oldest teenager. Um. So. You see, the problem is, is that we're we're making it sound like as if this is something this is something that's exclusive to comics when it's not. Nope. I mean, it's like I could tell you stories about my last job, and it's as far from comics as it could have been. You know, it's it's like, you know, it, a shitty job is a shitty job is a shitty job, and you're going to be working with shitty people, you know, no matter where you go. And I think. The the only thing that I would offer young creators is is to pay attention. You know, I, I mean, it's like back in the day, I mean, mind you, it's like this wasn't even comics. It was freaking furry fandom. Mm -hmm. There were people that looking back, I, I, I'm like, why the hell did I think it was a good idea to hang out with these people? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, and that's, but that's something with, with every job. I mean, it's like, that's just something. I think it's, it's a general thing that you have to watch out for when you're young. I mean, look, I, I'm, I'm watching this documentary series called Generation Hustle, which it, on, on HBO Max. And it's the craziest documentary. And it's all about young people hooking up with the wrong people and i don't know it's like i don't know if this is something that you can train people to recognize or at least use other people as an example <laughs> you know I, um i i think yeah it's it that's a tough question because it's like can you really avoid people just being people it's like i don't know i don't think you can um unless they really rate you know make that flag super obvious i mean observation is key yeah so stepping back before you dive in yeah. pay attention pay attention to how other people treat other people pay attention to how they talk about people behind their yeah. back pick and choose who you hang around the water cooler with yeah. don't trust everybody Nope. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't know if we're giving a. I mean, I don't know if maybe our answer is more cynical than what the question is implying. But I think, in my opinion, there needs to be a question that's asked even before this. All right, and for the young creators who are out there, think about whether or not this is going to be a hobby for you. Or if you really want to turn this into a business, right. if you want to turn it into a business, guess what? There's the good and the bad. There's the ugly. ugly it, the, yeah. It's all out there. And to what Daphne was saying earlier again, is that be good with that block or mute button. Yeah. Make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who can lift you up, not tear you down. Right. Be careful of who's whispering in your ear. Yeah. You yes. Yeah. Um, but, but at the end of the day, you have to decide whether or not this is going to be something you're doing for fun or something that you want to make a living from. Right. And it's not for the week. And you need to know how to say three words. No and fuck off. 
Right. I am so glad. In, in, I am so glad that I am doing this as yeah. I, I'm so glad that I'm doing this as an adult. If I oh. was in my 20s trying to do what I'm doing right now, I would have been like, "Screw this! This is insane," you know. Right. Um, and I I embrace that certain amount of maturity in my life right now. Yeah, that I can no, go. Yeah, you know that I'm like, uh, okay, you know that not not so important. All you that know? wisdom. And, and really? just get put my head down and get to work. You know why? Because I really don't have a lot of time left on this planet. You oh know, my I God. mean, I just feel like the clock is ticking for me, okay? I, I'm on the back end of that hill. Uh, that is the, the God's honest truth. You know, I'm not young, dumb. I don't have the time to, to be stupid. I can goof off and stuff like that. That's totally different. But, you know, it's like when, when I found or rediscovered comics and go this, everything in here pushes me. It challenges me. It makes me excited. It scares the fuck out of me. And guess what? It's what I want to do when I grow up. I'm almost 50. I'm like, yeah, finally I got it figured out, you know? So for me, it, it was making that decision, but I couldn't have made that when I was in my twenties. Yeah, really. It's yeah. Youth, youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> All that energy. I was forced into it when I was 20. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. I mean, yeah, in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> Abducted by comics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know, I mean, and that's the thing. And also, also, you, you got to remember. You're on you. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I was going to say that uh, one of the things that I would tell people to watch out for that I notice is, um, like what I like to do is try to expand my circle as much as I can. I want to find out what this person is doing or what that person is doing. I think it's really cool to do that um, because you find new flavors. I just recently talked to a young lady from Italy. Uh, it, it, it proved to me that uh, despite you know my marital connections, you know, uh, it's just her family that's crazy, not all Italians. And um, I was speaking to her and seeing how creative she was was really cool and 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 then growing that circle and i will say beware of people who want you to keep your circle small exactly yeah yes I was about they don't, to say want, that you, they, they don't yeah. want you looking in another fishbowl and finding out that oh they were over there and they took shits every day those yeah. are the most yeah. dangerous people in yeah, the industry. Watch the out, yeah watch out for i mean it's like because you know look it, it's like there there's a playbook for actual abusive behavior mm -hmm. and it, you can use that in pretty much every setting and, and and one of the things that that is considered actual abusive behavior is trying to limit who you have contact with right mm -hmm. you know and especially if if you know it's like it's one thing i mean it's like look it, it's one thing where it's like you have somebody say well i don't like that person i mean if i've i've done it it's like look I, I you know it's like look i don't like that person so what do i do every time that person is around i, I remove myself from the situation it's like you know what it's like look i don't like them i don't want to hang out with them but because that's a me problem i'm stepping aside and they have to you know accept that that's the choice that i'm making and they can make right. a decision based on that yeah. but the thing is though if if you have a person who it seems like everybody you have in contact with there's an issue yep. it's like oh i don't like that person and i don't like that person either yep. and oh that person and that mm -hmm. person um, yeah, it's like, you know what, then it becomes a problem. It's like, are you sure it's them? That's the problem. Thank you. And sometimes it takes a minute to see that. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes you may be already be in too deep, but it's like, you know, you just have to, you have to pay attention. You have yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. I, I but, you know, the, the, that's a problem too, because a lot of times people don't realize, you know, they, they don't look in the mirror and go, maybe I'm the problem. Right, right. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, there's a common denominator in all your failed relationships. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Not everybody can be perfect like me. And don't worry. Don't worry. Listen, you know, you can't, you, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be perfect like me. Yeah, I agree, Jim. I agree. I agree. If you just, just dislike everybody equally, you know, it saves you a lot of problems. <laughs> I don't like any of you. It says, uh, but it, only if we uh, agree not to be like very at least on Tuesday. Yeah, because uh, Tuesday, I was, I was, I was upset. I was upset about the whole. You were adorable. I was yeah. like, oh damn. 
Oh, I want to be a cookie. You can eat it. You can eat it. You can eat it. You can eat it. You can go on. Indiegogo make any money. Go on, Indiegogo. See, see where your money's at. There's money out there. My, look, my, my, my only money concern, yeah, my only concern with Indiegogo is that it is a different audience mm -hmm. and it requires a different strategy for me and my work. Mm -hmm. That's the only issue I have with Indiegogo. You know, and that's... The beauty of it is, is that it, I mean, it costs you nothing to be up there unless, no. you know, you start selling stuff. So you can put your stuff up there. Then I mean, because once you start selling shit, they're like, yeah. Hey, right, but also saying. at the same time, I don't want to waste my time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's right. like just because I can do something doesn't mean it's really feasible for me. It, it, it's, it's a good use of my resources. T you, you know, know Tyler, which, Tyler Carpenter just went to uh, Patreon. He's not, he, mm -hmm. he hates crowdfunding. And he just took all of the Patreon. Does that make him a Patreon creator? Should That's, we? I don't well, think it does nobody help because you created it. I, I don't. Yeah, th these are these are phrases I've I've never heard anyone use. So it, the, as far as I'm concerned, they're not real. Like I said, it, it's YouTuber. I've heard. You know, it's like I've you know, everything else is like uh, you're you're just making stuff up right now. <laughs> you know, I mean, like you're on you're on Patreon. You're it's, on gang yeah. it's gang yeah. names. Yeah, it's gang names. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'd be like on the IG. How would we do this? I don't want to. Oh, think. yeah, no, it's it, it's like yeah. <laughs> she just uh, and need, little does need to know she just cussed out people in sign language. Uh, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like look when conventions are back, we can all get together and and share a beverage, a cool, yeah. refreshing beverage. Oh, sure, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jim, yes, I need to talk to you about some art, way. by the way. I'd like to get something commissioned from you, if possible, pretty soon. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, but yeah. oh, go ahead. Uh, I, I think that uh, the I think that the uh, major problem that we have right now is we got people they want to be famous, they want to be known in this industry, and they figure you, I can't be famous unless you fail, right? And, yeah, and that's I'm not ridiculous. Your, yeah, I'm yeah. not your enemy. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I may be able to open a door for you. You need to be trying to hold me back and we're running the same race. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, I, I don't understand that. It's like, it, it's like, look, we're all in the same Look, it's like we look. We're just doing comics for fuck's sake. We're not. We're not saving the world. We're not brain surgeons. You know, we're not. You know, I, I mean, it, it. It's. It's an absolutely. It's like really. It's like everyone is losing their goddamn minds over pictures and words right. that are mushed together in 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 a in a in a floppy medium. I I I don't. I, I really <laughs> don't understand that. <laughs> well, that's not new. <laughs> I'm not sure I've heard you say it before. No, but it's 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 seriously. Not, in fact, it's quite the fucking opposite I'm because an, you I'm look an, at that's a uh, comma. That's not a. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's really the opposite of that because you look at the people who are coming out of nowhere and they're out there promoting people that they're meeting and stuff. And those are the people who you are seeing rise the fastest. You know yeah. why? Because they're not out there making enemies. They're not out there for the bullshit. Right. They're out yeah. there for the comics. And that's right. what's going to get you known. Yeah. <laughs> uh, As you can say, about these doing red circles. <laughs> we have, so, uh, on a positive note. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's Look. a positive note? There is. That, yeah. It is, is the, it's almost the end of the show. So I do want to put the spotlight on Daphne and her campaign and her campaign that's going on right now. Oh yes. Uh we have uh six more six more days on uh the Tall Tales Kickstarter, which you can find a link to at uh, both egoworks.com and talltalesonline.com. Um we're very we're very close to hitting 3500 which uh unlocks the metal bookmark that I know everybody wants. I, me especially, I want my bookmark. So, you know, so, it's like, so it collects, you know, so uh, long in the short, it, uh, Tall Tales uh, Thieves Quest is the series that started it all. When I say 1992, this is the book that started it. It collects the first five issues of the series in this lovely, a uh, very convenient printed format, which is a lot easier than reading a thousand pages on the website. So, um, so like I said, the six more days uh, for the campaign, 
We're trying to reach 3,500. It's looking like we can do it. So yeah, so head on over to egoworks.com and talltalesonline.com to uh, see the to, to see the campaign. Oh, there it is. There oh, it God, is. You're so close to 100 backers. Come on, yeah. people. Yeah, no, for real. And and uh, I was mentioning that this book actually broke a Tall Tales backer record. So our highest Tall Tales backer record, I think, was 88 backers and this is completely surpassed that so nice. i'm i just want to thank everybody thank you, for w. really really coming mm -hmm. out for mm -hmm. this book jw says he's gonna go back it right now thank you thank you very much awesome. yeah you know so it's like so that way it's like you know you read the book my backdrop will finally make sense to everybody whenever i mention <laughs> tall tales you'll all know what i'm talking about <laughs> so I, you know I, by the but, way Daphne, it's epic yeah. I've been checking my email. Yes. And I've yet to see my Ugo Raven screensaver show up. Uh, desktop oh. screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just mentioned it. You just mentioned it two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been checking. I don't see it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's wrong. I, I, I. There's a lovely get... bookmark. Yeah. Course, that's, I... the, that's the bookmark. You know, I, I oh. want my bookmarks. It's metal. <laughs> Me too. It's metal bookmark. Yes. Too. It's it's a it's going to be a metal bookmark. It's going to look fantastic, you know, when you're reading the book and you got that metal bookmark there, you know, saving your spot. You know, we have uh, the toys, we have the sketch covers, we have the artist proofs. Um, you know, there's something for everybody here. Very cool, very cool. I, I like the bookmarks. You know, I went to. Uh... I like the monkey. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we ordered one and we got two monkeys. We got the regular and, and the, the blood splatter. Yeah, blood splatter. Yeah, I love oh, that one. Go. The blood uh, splatter. We did too. We did too. C and yeah. I are gonna fight over who gets the point. <laughs> the monkeys for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Every you get a monkey, you get a monkey. Yeah, exactly. No, monkeys. trust me. There's. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> um. Oh, by the way, uh, Grandpa's Comic Con says if you're famous and I can't be famous, the same mentality exists among con creators too. It's ridiculous. Networking can make us all famous in our own way. Yeah, I don't, like I said, right. I don't get that. I don't it's, get that at all. It's like, you know what? Let's all be famous together. Yeah. It's thank all you. Bullshit. Thank you. Uh huh. You know, look, it's like we're, we're making comics. You know, we're telling, we're storytellers. You know, it's like, what story are you telling? Mm -hmm. You know, there's a, there's a friend of we're mine. We're stopping that, from uh, being told. Well, I, I've got a friend of mine who, uh, only known him on social media for about the last seven years, right? And he's got a, a t shirt that says, We're all famous to someone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Ca cater to the people who who um follow you. Um take care of them. And and I mean marketing and stuff like that, there's a even in marketing, there's a lot of shady behavior. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know? Um, and I don't, uh, I try and stay away from the people who, um, tear down others mm -hmm. in order to, to market yeah. their client or, you know, whatever yeah, the case right. might be. I mean, th there's no need for that. You know, we all have very different interests. Um, and there is enough out there. There is enough content out there. And I understand marketing is important because because of all of those things that are out there, mm -hmm. you know, how do you, how do you get seen, right? How do you rise above all of the other stuff that's out there? And, and, but you don't do it by tearing other people down. You yeah. don't do it by being a jerk. Um, because sure, you can be a jerk uh, and you'll get You'll get some kind of attention, but it might not be the one that you want. Right? Yeah, and, and there comes a point where it turns around and bites you in the ass, because it's like, uh, what is it? I, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember where I read this, but I, the, 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 it went something like, the people who cheer you at your coronation are the same people who cheer you at your beheading. Hmm. People just want to show, right? So I love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Mm -hmm. well, so yeah, um, yeah. You know. Oh, the heading stuff, man. I was gonna eat later. Oh well. Um, <laughs> I'm still hungry. Yeah, yeah. Here's lore. Here's lore. Yes. Two percent. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're. Oh, you're. You're. You're so close. So close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and three more backers. We unlock a lovely print by you, Daphne. Thank you. 
Do it. <laughs> it's a gorgeous print. We were uh, now. I think it was a geek gas that you were coloring that, weren't you? Yes. It? Yeah, it was oh my launch my party. Gosh. Yeah. Yes. Gorgeous. I'm a. There's still the room for the Lola trading card. Everybody that bags will get the fetish sticker pack that contains eight to ten fetish stickers. Now we're working towards the Daphne print. Mm -hmm. Well, is you said eight to ten? Is it eight or ten? I'm still working with the artists to figure that out. Oh, okay. there you go. <laughs> I don't so know if, you that, there. if you threw that original out there, you might motivate some people to maybe <laughs> up their bids. I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, just saying yeah, I know, mind you, the original, the original uh, artwork has metallic accents on it. I know. That's what I'm right? saying. <laughs> Yeah, I, have you, I don't need I don't know have anybody you seen Nina's it, wall. <laughs> She's got like the wall of Daphne Lage. Yeah, there you, you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is up there. Look at that. That's, that's not all of it. That's yeah. not all of it. <laughs> uh, what you don't know, she has a uh, Daphne Lage vape, actually. It's a uh, right, yeah. No, <laughs> we were talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a dragon. It's it, yeah, it's one of her dragon characters. It's uh, pretty cool. That must have cost a lot of money. Right. Uh, <laughs> no, I really don't have a faith. No, so don't, so nobody <laughs> asked about it. <laughs> it was an exclusive. I'm gonna send, yeah. I'm gonna send some people. So many people. Did you guys know that has a vape? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vape raven. <laughs> and there's the stretch goes. All oh, still locked right now, Lola. But you got. Uh, We're so close to the holographic sticker. That's really close. Pretty really close to that yeah. one. I gotta, I gotta finish that uh, one piece. Maybe that'll sell too. I um, like that nylon piece. That's pretty cool. There's the awesome T-shirt. You can get my publishing company, Soccer Comics, or you can get a shirt of Lord. And of course, A to Z, fetishes A to Z. That is so cute. I, I it really is. like that piece. Yeah. That's actually me. Oh. <laughs> Then we got Daphne's. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, unsolicited. The book full of hacks. But the quotes, the quotes is what makes the book. Yeah, well, that really, one, yeah. That, that one. There was one that it was like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. But, but yeah, the quotes is what gets me. Yeah. The quotes are hilarious. Quotes. Bah. All right, ladies, uh, I guess it's time to wrap it up. Huh? But yeah, but uh, yeah, moral of the story, curate your experience. Don't don't dwell it, it, it don't don't dwell in the mud, you know, and, and worry about telling your stories and, and selling your what? books. Oh, what, what does that say? What does that say? Curate your experience, Daphne Lee. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm dead serious about that. I'm dead serious. Curate your experience. You know, if if you're only experiencing negativity, it's because on a certain level, that's what you're looking for. So don't look for it. You know, stay stay out of the swamp. You know, the signs are there. The signs are there. You don't have to go waiting in it. I want that on a mug. Right. Oh yeah, no, definitely, Joe. I, I have to talk to you about that cover. Yes, especially since you mentioned uh, on 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 the interview with Lola that you're you're doing your Kickstarter in October. So yeah, we definitely need to talk about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess you guys tell everybody where you're from, and uh, then we can wrap the show up. Yay! We'll start with you. With me? Oh, cool. Oh, fine. I, I get to go first. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I'm, 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 my name is Varian Graham, the world's biggest Wolverine fan. And um, <laughs> uh, Wolverine and Optimus Prime are my favorites. Oh, oh it, it's so awesome. And uh, yeah, I was happy to be here tonight. Happy to uh, reveal my height to everyone, as well as the fact that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm tired of assholes in our industry. I need to go. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, that or, you know, I've been ending the show lately with try to leave the industry a better place than you found it. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I, and I, and I, I sincerely agree. mean that. I mean, every day try to make it a little bit better than you found it, and uh, I think we'll all be okay if we do that. Yep, that's it. That's it for me. KYD underscore V on Twitter. Uh, email me over there, tweet me over there. I probably won't answer for a day or two, but I'll eventually say, What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meredith. 
Okay, you guys can find me at linktree.com slash M-E-R-E-J-99. It has a bunch of my links, not all of them, but a bunch. And you can follow me there. It's got uh, all my social media, where I blog and blog and all that good stuff. Uh, head over there and follow me. Just don't peek in my windows. <laughs> Nita's peeking. Oh, Nita peeks. <laughs> Nita. Uh, I'm Nita Lanning. You can find me anywhere on social media as Creating Chaos 24 7. It all runs together and it's all lowercase, except for the Pornhub link. That is not me. <laughs> <laughs> is there actually a link? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to look it up. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm curious now. I'm just being like, what? <laughs> me too, because what if it is there? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh, she added herself, you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Daphne. Uh, you can find uh, you can find all my galleries and social media at my main website, egoworks.com, E-G-O-W-O-R-K-S, where you can read the first uh, five issues of Ego Raven, Air of the First Unicorn for free. Um, and also you can sign up to uh, get notified when the Kickstarter goes live for issue two on Monday. Um, I'm also holding a launch party on Monday at four o'clock. So also uh, keep an eye out for that. You Nobody can also. Streams. Pardon? Nobody, Nobody planned any streams. Right. Yeah. Nobody planned any streams. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you can also find a link to Tall Tales Online, where you can read the first 20 issues of Tall Tales uh, online. Um, and uh, But like I said, it's more convenient to pick up the trade, which is on its last uh, less than a week on Kickstarter. Uh, you can pick that up there. Yeah, and for awesome. those of you. Thank you. And for those of you who do want to peek in Windows, you can you can also find my link to my Fur Affinity site where you can find my infamous House of Bob furry porn gallery uncensored on Fur Affinity. You have to be 18 in order to sign up to see it, um, but it's there. So, <laughs> so, so that's there too. So everything you can find at egoworks.com. I'm still going to talk you into letting me publish that, Daphne. Oh, absolutely. And you guys can find me at linktree indie underscore princess. You'll find all my links there, including a link to lore, which is now funding on Indiegogo. Um, you'll catch me everywhere this week. I'm doing show after show after show, sometimes two shows a day. And I wanted to bring up uh, Indie Vote Awards show. You guys make sure you submit your books for that. That is happening September 18th. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. He says I'm right. You guys go, go to check out Indie Vote Awards show.com and sign up now. And also, Liberty uh, Entertainment Distribution where you can get your comic books distributed. Go check them both out. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to those? That's it. You did. I, I didn't expect you to do those two. That's great. Appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, by the way, keep backing um, keep backing the show. We're going to make Lola wear the whole snack market wow. uh, uh, outfit. We're going to make her wear that on. <laughs> uh, yeah, great. no, for real. Yeah, yeah, that would be, you know, I'm sure you must have matching green shoes to go with that, right? Oh hell yeah. yeah! Yeah, I have some green shoes and I have some uh, green uh, thigh highs too. Yeah, that'll that'll work. Yeah, so she, she's she's got the green. Uh, she's got some green heels that, and they have wooden. <laughs> they, they got wooden platforms, so it yeah. it would look like really woodsy and outdoorsy. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for being here. I'm gonna take us out, Lola. Here we go. Okay, they're talking about fictional characters. Fictional characters. Am I, am I getting through to you at all?